Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here with me today for your next major love relationship reading. We're going to be looking into your next connection. Who is this going to be with? How will the relationship unfold? What type of connection you have? We'll look at all those lovely details for you. So um, before I begin, if anyone was after a private reading, I am currently accepting those. You'll find my email below, so please email me and I'll send you booking information. Um, otherwise, please subscribe to the channel. I um, would love to have you join me, lovely, my lovely little YouTube fam. Um, and anyone out there who wants to become a member of the channel, you can do so via the join button on the homepage, which is going to give you access to bonus readings or extended versions um, and things like that. So... Uh, let's have a look and see, Sagittarius, this next relationship of yours. Okay, strong earth energy that's coming, coming up here around you. Okay, we also have an Aries. Aries personality, maybe. Okay, and last card. As their overall energy, overall... Oh, sorry, no. We're going to crown the reading. We're going to crown it with the Hierophant and the King of Wands. Okay, um... So the way they're presenting themselves, their personality is coming up six of pentacles. Okay, you have a bit of a people pleaser. This person likes to make everyone happy. Um, they sort of worry what other people are going to think about them. I feel like this is someone who is wanting love and is wanting that attention, okay? I, but, but I feel like, I mean, again, strong earth energy could be a Taurus. He did have the Hierophant, so I'm wondering if there's a Taurian connection to this person. Um, okay, so they're quite generous and they're quite giving, but I feel like definitely a people pleaser. This is a person who's going to go above and beyond this rela uh, in this relationship. They'll go they're, wa they're wanting to go above and beyond for you. Now, they could work with things like charities, banking, money, rehabilitation, could work in the health industry, law, litigation, um, housing. I feel like We've got the scales of justice, so they could be working in like a government job or like a legal department, but I feel it's very important for them to fight for justice. So I feel like they're definitely involved in some things like humanitarianism. Uh, maybe they're chasing after some sort of, you know, some some sort of cause or movement. They're like, they're, they're chasing after something. So makes me think that, yeah, maybe they do 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 something on the side here apart from their job uh, and I feel like it's something with involving society it could be like youth work as well uh, is what I'm getting I feel like they may be older I'm getting an older vibe from this person actually so I feel like they could be older than you there could be quite an age gap here Sag uh, but I feel like I'm getting like they're quite sensible like they've got their stuff together which is good and I feel like you need someone like that Sag um, so I feel like they're like responsible. I think maybe they've done the, the whole going out, being young, dating around, doing sorts of things. I feel like they want a more, they want a more calming um, and settled relationship now. And I feel like that's what you're going to get with this person. Um, some of you are meeting online or you're meeting through like, they could be famous or you could know them. It's like you already have known or heard about this person and their, their social media pops up. You may get an email from them. You may even connect on a dating app. Um, the magician tells me this person could be a minor or a major celeb. Uh, but I feel like you either, I, I do feel like it's online or in person. If it's in person, it's through like an event of some kind. Um, you might be going to, the, to an event where they're speaking or a conference that they're holding. Uh, or it could be like um, a concert and they're part of someone's entourage. Um, but it could be online as well, which I mentioned. So dating apps is coming up. Uh, any sort of forums where you're sort of chatting to or getting to know new people, um, it's very likely that you can meet them um, through there. Some of you have had a relationship before with the Eight of Cups, so I feel like 
this may have been someone you ghosted when you were younger Sag you sort of walked away because emotionally maybe you didn't want the same thing as they wanted so you end up walking away from that relationship but there'll be an opportunity to have things once again with this person so I feel like there could be second chances coming up for some of you because the hangman something big happened in this relationship that it couldn't work the first time I think it's a small portion of you that are going to get this ex. I don't think it's for everyone, but I, I definitely am sensing that there is this, um, yeah, that there is this connection with this, this person uh, that's coming through here in the cards. So um, they, they could be foreign. Okay, the world card tells me they could be foreign. Uh, foreign background. Um, they could work for an online company here as well and be on the move a lot. They may need to travel a lot for work. So for some of you, this relationship, there may be periods throughout this relationship where sometimes you guys have to be long distance together. Um, it's, I don't think it's going to create tension. I definitely feel you're going to miss each other a lot when you do reunite. When you do get that opportunity to see each other again. Uh, so that's coming up here as well in the cards. Okay, I feel like this person is also someone important in their work either a manager, a senior consultant, they're on the board of directors. Um, they're a part of some sort of group or membership program that makes them sort of elite in a way, if that makes any sense at all. That could maybe be why they have to move around a lot for work. They need to attend different jobs, different locations, because they need to connect with different people maybe. Their parents or siblings, someone in their immediate family lives, could live overseas or in a different city, state or country, which I see you actually end up, um, you'll end up visiting. So a lot of you, I feel that the Hierophant here is telling me this could be an asset. So some of you, I see you moving in with this person, um, but I also see you visiting family and friends of theirs overseas. If you've got family and friends overseas and you're taking this person to meet them, I definitely feel like travel is on the cards here for the both of you. Um, but I feel like it's travel because of family. You may even take like family trips, family vacations, which is a good thing, Sag. I feel like you're going to get on very well um, with their family. And what's crowning your reading is the King of Wands, which I feel is you. Um, and I feel like this person could really excite you. I feel like it's a challenging relationship, but I say challenging in a good way because they're going to do a lot of things that you're not used to probably in a, in a, in a person, in a partner, um, or that you haven't had for a very long time. And them, by them doing that, that's going to create a challenge for you. But you're going to like it because I feel like no two days are going to be the same with this person. Like there's always something new you'll end up learning about yourself or about them or about what's a good relationship what's a healthy relationship what's not so healthy so it is a bit of a learning process that i'm seeing but i see marriage and children so there's potential for that to happen there could be some money problems in this relationship he said so um someone i'm getting one person is going to be more irresponsible and more spendy than the other and this can create some problems in the relationship so i think that's something you're going to have to go over um it's something you're gonna have to sort of work through with this person because i see that that's important to them i mean it's going to be important to you as well i do see some of you helping um this person's family out again it could be reversed and they're helping your family out but i feel like um maybe they visit your parents and help them do the shopping or maybe there's lending of money or like paying for trips and things if, if one can afford it more than the other. Um, so I feel like I see them really look out, looking after your family uh, or taking care of them because they want to. They'll want to be able to do that uh, for you, Sarge, and do that for your family to show you that they care. So again, that that's just in their nature, I feel. They're always there. They're always there to help anyone who needs it. So it makes me feel like they're going to be by your side whenever you need them. Whenever you've got stuff going on, they'll be there. Mm. 
anything ego related and this person may leave. I think it might be you though, Sarge. Some of you, I see you leaving this relationship because that could get too much. The whole, let's be responsible, let's do this, let's have a backup plan. It might be enough to just push you away. Um, you may end up regretting it though with the hangman. So don't be too impulsive like that king of ones can be because you could be losing someone who could really look after you for life. Um, so I feel like I just wanted to say that. Um, but obviously free will comes into play here and it's going to be your own choice whether you want to um, go or stay in this relationship or uh, whatever it is. So yeah, I think what I'm seeing here is that there is that opportunity to live a more settled life with them. I do want to say there could be some, I'm getting some issues in this relationship around like social media and attention. Okay, someone's going to be getting a lot of attention and the other isn't going to like it. So there could be some problems that come up here. Uh, because of things like needing attention or getting attention, you know, you might not even be asking for it, Saj, and then you've got these people giving you attention and then your person's like, well, what's going on? You know, are they interested in you? Is there something going on? Like, um, it could be reversed, maybe because of their work. If they're like a celebrity hanging out, you know, obviously being around all these women or men or you know, attracting this sort of attention on social media, then obviously it can can create some uh, some tension here. Um, but I do see like culture is going to be mixed with this relationship. So the both of you are going to be more cultured together. So you could be traveling to different locations, new and exotic places, um, or they'll have a thing or two to teach you about what they do. But I think you'll be excited to learn to learn all of this I do but I keep getting that for some of you there's definitely history with that moon card could be cancer energy um it says to me that this person's still in love or still attached or maybe you're still in love still attached those feelings didn't disappear entirely you thought they did but ta-da here they are in your uh, unconscious mind going okay we still love this person Sag get them back here's a little bit more energy to do it um so that's something to take into consideration here. But it's just such contrasting energies because one of you wants to keep them keep them to yourselves and the other's like the other wants to be free and independent. So one sided, you know, six of pentacles is like things being one sided. So one of you may want the relationship more than the other. There could be, you know, this big dynamic of energy where one of you wants to lock each other down but the other one wants more space and more independence and you know so there could be a bit of that coming into the relationship as well i'm going to leave it there though Saj. so thank you again everyone uh, for watching it really does mean a lot if anyone was after a private reading please email me um, otherwise feel free to subscribe to the channel and join the youtube family if you wanted to join um, the channel and become a cha um, channel member you can do so via the join button and that's going to give you access to any sort of bonus or extended reads. Otherwise, Saj, I do hope you're very happy in the relationship. I do hope this reading has helped and hopefully we'll be in touch very soon. So thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.